Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are going to make some meat chips or crisps. A couple of weeks ago, my son Connor and I did a review of carnivore crisps. These are chips made out of various animals, mostly cow, but there was also, what else did they have in there? Some pork and some chicken. Anyhow, we liked them, but it got me thinking. I've got a 9-tray Excalibur dehydrator. Maybe I could make my own. And that's what we're going to do right now. For this experiment, we're going to do a number of different chips, starting with pepperoni. Now, this pepperoni is very thin sliced. I think the lady said it was set to a 1 on the deli slicer. One left over. Guess I'm eating this one. Then for the sake of comparison, I've got some slightly thicker pepperoni. This was set to a one and a half. Next, I have some sliced salami. This is whatever the standard brand is that Costco carries. This is thinner even than our thin pepperoni. So it'll be interesting to see what the varying times are that these take to crisp up. Next, I have some seasoned roast beef. Again, this is Costco, Kirkland brand. Then I have some roasted turkey breast. This is also sliced at a one and a half. Yeah, maybe fit better this way. Eh, it's got a little tear in them. These might turn into two chips each rather than one big chip. And lastly, some roast chicken breast. The chicken breast were my favorite flavor of the carnivore crisps. I think they lend themselves best to maybe making a plate of nachos. So we'll see how this turns out. Now, when I bought this nine tray Excalibur, I thought it might be overkill. And for the most part, it has been. This is the first time I've used up seven trays on this. And if this works out, I could definitely see utilizing all nine trays to make some chips. But for right now, we'll close it up. I'll set it to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. Right now it's 10.30 a.m. I'm gonna come back and start checking on this at about the four hour mark. I suspect some of the thinner stuff, especially that salami and the thin cut pepperoni may be ready by then. I think the other meats could take longer maybe six or seven hours. Now this segment right here is actually the last one we filmed, so things are a little bit out of order here. The reason being, Courtney and I didn't feel that our taste test was successful enough, and we didn't want to put out a video of something where we hadn't tried every possibility. So right now you'll watch the initial taste test, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try out our other idea which is using some really, really, really thin sliced meat from Hillshire Farms. So here we have all of our meat chips and we're gonna try these out. And uh, well, actually, you know, we'll let you in on a secret. We did try one mm -hmm. yesterday and you're about to hear just how crispy it is. So we went back to the deli and we got some thinner sliced chicken breast and we'll see how that turns out. Awesome. Now for each of these, I stored them with a desiccant packet inside the bag. I love these things. I put them in anything I want to keep dry, anything I throw in a bag, keto crackers, uh, my uh, barbecue rub, uh, my pork panko. Do you get them from Amazon? You better believe it. I'll link to it down in the description below. Thank you for being the straight person yeah. on that. All right, so this is our roast beef. Sounds crispy. So I'm gonna have to dramatically lower the volume in editing on this because this is so <laughs> crunchy. Mm -hmm. What did you think? It's still, I think it's just too hard on the teeth. It's too, like, I don't know how thin you got it, but I feel like you'd almost have to get it like shaved with the roast beef. 
Yeah, I think maybe what I may try next is getting like some of that Hillshire Farms, you know, uh, the meats that they have. Because that, that's it, like super thin. duper, super Yeah, duper like thin. almost falling apart. Yeah, then, then I think maybe you get something closer to a potato chip. Yes. This was more like eating an uncooked noodle. Yeah. Yes. Next we have the turkey breast. This is going to be way too big of a chunk for me. To... Here we go, turkey breast. I do like the flavor of the turkey breast, but once again, the crunch. Yeah, that was even crunchier than the roast beef. Yeah. Now we're not even gonna do the first run of chicken we did because that was even crunchier than the turkey. I mean, that was right on the edge of teeth breaking. And that was sliced at a one and a half. So pr still pretty thin, but not, you know, ultra, ultra thin. It wasn't mm -hmm. paper thin. This. I told the lady at the deli, slice it as thin as you can without it falling apart. So what did you think of that one? Better. It was a lot better. It's still about 50% too... Crunchy. Yeah. It's still, yeah. It's not crispy, it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Now, by way of comparison, I'm going to break out the crisps that Connor and I had from Carnivore Crisps. Okay. So you can compare the texture and the taste on the chicken breast. All right, so here's the carnivore crisps. You know what this reminds me of is pig ears. It looks a little bit like that. Like, I think something like this, pretty close to the perfect crunchiness. Yeah, it is. And you could use something like this with guacamole. Oh, yeah. That would be good. So I'm not exactly sure how to emulate that this sort of crispness. I think maybe... I don't know if we could try like those Hillshire Farms deli meat, you know, yeah. that's like super, super thin sliced. Might be worth a try. Next we have our pepperoni and this is the slightly thicker cut, I believe. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is the slightly thicker cut. Okay. Ready? Was... Yeah. That tastes good. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. Like, I love when pepperoni on top of pizza is just right about getting ready to burn. Mm -hmm. This isn't quite that, but it's got that crispy, like, well-cooked bacon. I was going to say, it reminds me of when the fat of the bacon is cooked. Yeah. And it just, like, it crunches and then it melts in your mouth. Pretty much. That's With, exactly what I would describe that as. This has me excited to try the thinner stuff. Yeah. So this is about the thickness of a potato chip. Mm -hmm. This is really thin. Mm. Totally like your bacon analogy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a keto sort of snack. You know, this with, you know, a little bit of cheese on the side. Yeah. It's, this would be very satisfying. Oh yeah. And, for the finale, we have the salami. Best texture. Mm -hmm. That is like a potato chip. Mm -hmm. So good. And the flavor. And the flavor, I think, is even like stronger than if you just had the meat itself. You don't think? Yeah, maybe. I think I like the I like the flavor of the pepperoni better. Mm -hmm. But the texture. But the texture on this, if I had some chip dip, you could yeah. be dunking this in some dip. I think it would be pretty much like eating potato chips. Yeah. So it almost seems like the trick is higher fat. It seems that way. Because the more fat, the better the, the texture when you dehydrate it. That's that's what it's starting to feel like. So out of that initial batch, mm -hmm. we had a couple of clear winners. Yes. Pepperoni, salami, hands down the best. Very good. Yes. Those, those are a win. We can safely say, go ahead and make those. Yep. Now, one thing to be aware of, <laughs> especially the pepperoni, is going to grease up your dehydrator trays just a little bit. So be prepared to do a little cleaning. So right now, we have chicken and roast beef. Okay. So the top tray over there is chicken. And you can see, well, let's show it to the viewers here. The chicken is a little fragile, mm -hmm. kind of falls apart a bit. 
Uh, I mean, like right out of the package, it falls apart a little bit. So you want to grab any chunk? I'm going to grab this one right here. Hillshire Farms Super Thin Chicken. My teeth aren't breaking. That's the <laughs> texture. That we're going for. We're looking for. Mm -hmm. I'd say a little, a little more crunchy than a tortilla chip. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's meat, it does kind of you know you get it on your teeth a little bit, yeah. kind of back in your molars, but much better. The, yeah, way way better. The the one issue is like right out of the package, it was just kind of falling apart. Let's try out roast beef. Okay. So you can see for the roast beef, I mean, I've got some actual chips here. Oh. That was, that sounded good. That sounded, that sounded like a potato chip. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute win mm -hmm. right here. So at Hillshire Farms is a bit more expensive. Well, let me see. It's $4 for seven ounces. So it's, it's, it's fairly comparable to just getting deli meat. So I would say it's still going to be a cost savings if you want to make this, if you've got a dehydrator versus, say, purchasing it from Carnivore Crisps. If you don't have a dehydrator and you still want something like this, those chicken chips. Yeah, those were good. Those were very good. I mean, their, their chicken chips, I don't know how they do it. They're way, way better than what we were able to do. Mm -hmm. But I think for roast beef, we've got an answer. Yeah. And, and we, definitely salami and pepperoni. Absolutely. Yep. I think, what do you think is your favorite? The salami or the pepperoni? Salami. I think so too. I think just because that texture wise was, perfect. The, yeah, that was like a potato chip. Mm -hmm. I think flavor wise, I think I like the pepperoni a little bit better, but if you're dipping it in some sort of a sauce, like this stuff now, I want to make like some sort of a horseradish chip dip. Mm -hmm. I think sour cream and horseradish and dip those beef chips in it. I think that'd be pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. So if you've been thinking about making your own crisps and wondering if you can do it in a dehydrator, well, I think we've taken the guesswork out of it for you. Yep. Seems like the way to go is either pepperoni mm -hmm. or salami or the Hillshire Farms meats, and then probably in the 155 to 160 Fahrenheit range, anywhere from four hours to potentially six, depending on how thick your meat is cut, like especially if it's the pepperoni, that's gonna take a little bit longer. This Hillshire Farm stuff, that was about four hours and it got nice and crisp. So there you go. Awesome. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.